the official character art from Tales of Destiny, a game that has many references to Namco titles and even contains a 60 floor bonus dungeon based on the Tower of Duraga. The story follows a young swordsman named Stan who seeks fame and fortune. He comes across a sentient sword named Dimlos that holds a great power within. Through his journey he meets other similar sword wielders that will join his cause. Eventually the team must unite against evil forces seeking to use a relic from an ancient war. There are two main character artists that cover the Tales game series. One of which is Mutsumi Inomita, a freelancer artist attributed with Tales of Destiny. Stan has a free spirit of design, blonde long hair, and a confident smile that fits the relaxed body posture. Without a doubt, he has a hero persona. Especially with the knight-like armor, he seems to be a stereotypical main character for RPGs back in the day. Furthermore, while most protagonists had long-haired love interest, Ruti has short hair instead, and I think it looks great. She has an agile design, lightweight clothes, basically a thief-like appearance. And guess what? She's a greedy, money-hungry girl that fits this persona well. But I'm sure she also has a great personality hidden somewhere inside. And if you by chance don't know who Leon is, and think that he looks like an arrogant prick, well, that's because he is. He's a prodigy in swordsmanship with an attitude. What I'm trying to say is, Mitsumi did a great job at character design in the first game. Their appearances match their personalities. And some might say, well, that's just using plain old generic tropes. Maybe, but on the other hand, archetypes like these easily connect us to a believable story. And that's what an RPG is all about. That said, have you ever noticed that classics all tend to have a younger protagonist cast that's up against a antagonist twice their age? Tales of Destiny is a perfect example, with the hero team aging between 16 and 19 and the evil guys nearing their 50s. All support characters like Mary and Khan that change the hero's average age to the evil side of the spectrum are used as temporary assets for the story. The art style reminds me of those retro shoujo manga with big sparkling eyes, soft hair, and light colors. The lion is thin and sometimes absent. Even though technically the proportions are a bit out of place, it creates interesting poses. To expand on, especially the limbs are too stretched and the waist way too small. Some of the vibrant color illustrations were done with watercolor. Here you can even see that the colors went beyond the outline. This is likely because she used a wet on wet technique, a moisture brush on a water soaked paper creating strong textures between colors. Other illustrations were done with either pastel or colored pencils, and without a doubt she did a lot of mixed media for certain illustrations. I find her full blown works the best, with some of them embracing the fancy setting to its true form. In Tales of Destiny 2, the original cast grew older and refrained from becoming evil. Kyle is the son of Stan and Ruti. He has blue eyes and the blonde hair of his father. Kyle was sent into the future to stop a goddess that wants to bring happiness to humanity in her own deformed vision. Because the story takes place roughly 20 years later, the characters have more modern outfits. Nonetheless, some of the designs are a bit silly, such as Rila. Her clothes remind me of a ballerina, and I think it's too far stretched from the other designs. In Harold's case, she used a rainbow color palette, which I think is a bit far fetched. That said, the faces and hairstyle are totally fine. Some of the characters, I think, do fit the modernized medieval world though. And designs like these are pretty neat. If we look past the art style and compare certain characters, they don't seem to originate from the same world. Then again, in all fairness, this is likely just nitpicking due to my personal taste. The illustrations are still great. Some capture a bit of drama, and others the interpersonal struggles of the characters. As for the art style, it didn't change that much overall. Maybe she favored a bit more contours for some of the pieces, but that's coloring technique dependent as well. Next to the manga that contains 6 volumes, some of the heroes did a cameo appearance in other games such as Tales vs. Tales of the World, Namco X Capcom, and Tales of Syria. I fancy I know for all the cheaper folks. I've seen many game art books that showcase concept illustrations. However, the amount of art shown here went above and beyond passion, and I think that's really inspiring. Want more of the Tales series? I got you covered.